Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about which cord you should use with the Lenovo M14 Vision Monitor. And so I use the Lenovo M14 Portable Monitor as a core part of my mobile workstation. And in fact, I'm using this right now. Turn this around a little bit so you can see my setup. We've got the Lenovo right here. We've got my Lenovo computer right here. And so M14 in action. And so in this post, we're gonna explore which cord or connector you should use with it so that it actually works. And so what cord does the Lenovo M14 use? Which cord does it require to actually work? And so choosing the right cord is important for the M14 as it is a bit picky about what it works with. If you use one without the right specs, which is probably your standard USB cable um, that you might have in your bag and that you bought from Amazon, um, you'll probably run into the common standby mode problem, rendering your monitor essentially useless. And from my research and experience with the M14, it needs a cord that supports DisplayPort capabilities so that it can provide both power and video inputs at the same time. Now this can actually be a pretty hard capability to search for because when you look for DisplayPort, most sites like Amazon and Google and stuff, they're gonna think you're looking for a DisplayPort cord. And so the USB-C that you actually need to work for the M14 is probably not gonna show up at the top. You're gonna have to be digging through it. It's not gonna have super relevant results. And so instead, what I recommend you search for when you're looking for a cord that is compatible with the M14 is to look for a USB-C spec that itself supports DisplayPort. And so I know of two that actually do this. This is gonna be USB 4 and Thunderbolt. Um, by the time you watch this, there might be another one, but these are specs that I know, at least at time of making this a video, do support DisplayPort. And this will make sure that you're getting your USB-C results, but only for those that actually have this capability. And now personally, I picked up this USB 4 Thunderbolt um, USB-C cable from Belkin. That's what I'm using right now um, to provide power and video for my M14 that I showed you earlier. And it's worked well for me so far. And so that's one that I know works and that I can recommend to you. Um, but the idea is that any USB-C connector that supports DisplayPort should work for your M14. And if you just search for USB 4 or Thunderbolt, you should be only filtering those results down to those that have this capability. Next. So I really like my M14 as a super lightweight and portable extra monitor. It fits in my backpack along with my two laptops. I usually have my work laptop in case I'm on call or whatever. Um, and then my personal laptop for doing things like this because it's good to separate your projects out. And so having a portable monitor that can fit in with both of those laptops is a necessary feature for me. And the M14 does that. Now I'm a bit spoiled with my at-home workstation. I think a lot of people would say that like having, you know, a portable monitor on the go and multiple laptops is probably like overkill and that's fine. Um, but this is what I do. And so, you know, having my extra monitor on the go makes it at least a little bit more bearable to do things like this. Question for you is what does your travel workstation look like? I'll probably make a video on, on mine. I'm giving a full rundown pretty soon. And I'm curious, what's your favorite gadget for travel productivity? I'm always on the lookout for like a new thing to add to my backpack to make things simpler or smaller or easier to set up, whatever it is. So curious about that. Now, if you like this post, you might also like how to fix the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 portable monitor being perpetually in standby mode. This is probably the most common issue with these monitors and how to fix it. Might also be interested in what's my backpack travel edition to see all the other random doodads that I have uh, carrying around when I travel. And finally, you might be interested in my journey from software engineer to entrepreneur and back again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.